December 27th and we're going to be riding near Sparwood, BC. A couple days ago we noticed there's about 8 inches of snow on the trail and so hopefully back up in the basins where we ride there will be even more than that. Last time we rode here the snow was starting to get set up but it was still low so hopefully it's good. I think it might be a little better than Elkford. Our last ride in Elkford was starting to get a little wind blown and it hasn't been reloaded in quite a bit. Riding with Jeremy, Devin and Kyle. I'm sure they're pretty stoked about today. It's their first real ride of the season. They tried to get out with us last time, but had to go home early, had a little issue. So I'm glad they can make it back out again. Well, here's the boys, they camped out last night. They got their little heated trailer. Question of the day, what do you think of these longer videos? Do you prefer the longer, you know, close to an hour where it's more relaxed? Or do you prefer the shorter, more edited, higher paced, more action videos? Thanks. Check the hour meter. Well, maybe it has to be running, let's see. Halfway, 99 miles, seven hours. You guys look, they're almost ready. Tears getting there. Are you in a ride? Yeah. Cool. So yeah, this is you. just from the last one. Yeah, that's that's such a cool feature. Yeah. Yeah, you got to play with it. But it's pretty sweet. You could actually just track. So that actually tells me your distance from? Yeah, 3.2 feet. Wow, that's a, it's pretty accurate. <laughs> All good? Yeah. It's pretty nice. It is beautiful. Yeah. I got the stock cam back on here and I kind of missed that snap of the other one has. But oh, do you have a stock one on? I just, yeah, I kind of wanted to see I, what the I difference would be. I honestly really enjoy the stock one. Yeah. Like after my axis is so loud, like that's so nice. Here's what the idol's at. Yeah, it's nice having the, it, it probably also helps out the little, a bit of a torque band. Yeah, I know the other one, he had that ridiculous Spotterman snap. It yeah. could help. Yeah, I know. Just totally. really good throttle response, but yeah, I just wanted to test it out. Yeah. I always like seeing the difference. How's your hand? Your thumb? Frozen. Frozen? Yeah, let me know. I got a huge pair of mitts if you want them. Yeah, the trail's not half bad. No, it's good. Did you notice your temp? Sorry? Your temp was like 123 or something? I, I'm not going above 130. Yeah, okay, cool. It hits 130, 130 and gets a bit of snow, she comes yeah. back down 125. Yours is at what? I was at 133. 130, yeah. This is at 119. Cool. It's so quiet.
Beauty. Yeah. Beauty. We'll have to see if we can work our way in the back. He's gonna watch his creeks through here. Okay. And you'll be flying around the corner all of a sudden it's just drainage. You like a big uh big crack or crevice Yeah. We had a couple issues. These don't feel good to go into. No. So there's a decent amount of snow in here. But if it were me, I'd be trying to keep the skis somewhat flat. Yeah. Cause uh, yeah, there's hidden hidden little booby traps here, little logs, and turn them on. track needs to be tightened up a bit. Oh yeah. It's okay. That's not bad. That's a nice spot. Yeah yeah. Got it, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> a lot more playful than the, uh, the action. Yeah, she's a little tippy. <laughs> what do you think, Jer? Good, Good first, first ride. Day. Good first day. Good first he pull hills and shit way better than mine still, but he didn't have the jam it should have. Hey, you need some help? You think you got
got a hold of that 163 down there, or 165? <laughs> I was just listening to an old Chris Barrett podcast about riding technique. He's like, he always takes classes out or whatever, clients out, and anytime they do that, they're getting a little fast. He's like, that's when I get the camera out, and it's YouTube gold. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So no, no muff pot today. No cooker. Instead, we have cold snacks. What do we have? Pepperoni, cheese, crackers, orange. Did mom pack that? Mom packed my lunch for me. Lunchables, eh? Mama's lunchables. <laughs> <laughs> no, you gotta that one you can hook up to your Wi Fi when you get home. Yeah. Do it that way. Yeah. You can use a hot spot too, but you probably got no service out here. Let's see. Yeah, you're in. Hard to see in here. Little.
Yeah, you shouldn't be parking there. Yeah, there was a couple spots that were, weren't great. Yeah, it was tough. No, no. I'm not. I was just on a, too much of an angle. Now I'm probably fine. Should get the... I find with this little bit of crust, if your skis get just under it, it's like a wall. Oh, totally. And you just gotta I kick. I should probably put it on an angle through here. Or just kick your ski. Just kick your ski out like that. And it, that's what happened to me earlier. Yeah. Whenever you're ready, sir. Yeah, you'll get out. This is sweet in here. We can go out and then up to the next one, it's the same thing, and then the next one, and it'll be good. Yeah. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, your pack's open. Yes. That's good to know. Snapchat mode. Snapchat mode, yeah. <laughs> I was trying to do a quick loop oh, yeah. and my foot got stuck in the snow. Like my foot, I could see it back there. No, I, I uh, planted it to do like a, yeah. but my foot wouldn't come out. Yeah, it just ripped me off. I'll show you. Like this.
Watch her out, follow me. I need to ride a shit ton before I go out there. Go out there and yeah. I never okay. like it's a stupidly no cooker. Cold pizza. So. No cooker. Space between the Tupperware and the metal for steam. How's that work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so I bet you just like under here. Two take this thing off. Oh, that's you know what I mean? It didn't have anywhere for the air to go. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Peek underneath here, you got the little heating pad. All right, boiling some water. Two hundred fifty mils of water. Got your food inside of there. It's one way to cook a cook a pizza pop, eh? Absolutely. Anything you want. <laughs> An in-reach message from my dad. Oh, nice. Looks good. Is he at home crying? Asking Probably. if you wrecked a sled yet. Probably. Don't do that to me. Okay. <laughs>
Devin. Yeah, I see you up there, Devin. He's coming up here. There's a video of me coming up here, Dev. Repeat that? You have a video of me coming up here. Yeah, yeah, give me five seconds here. I'm going to pull my phone out. Alright. Hey, I'll come up too. Sounds good on you guys. Ready to roll. Pretty sweet spot, eh? This is awesome area. Yeah, he's just up there. So yes. I can cut up here if you want to go up the left side. Yeah, I was going to go through there. It's a little skimpy right here. Okay. <laughs> This is lovely. This is fucking cool. Yeah. Maybe I should try that out while I still got my fucking hands. Sure. Uh, try not to hit any rocks. No. Well, what I'm thinking is uh, just take the same line I just did. Oh, yeah. I just went on the left above that ridge. Yeah, there you go. And up and down. I didn't hit a fucking single thing. <laughs> then I know I'm good. And just watch it, the... It'll be a good comparison, too, doing the same line. Sure. You'll notice the track right away. I'll go, do a, I'll go do a few turns beforehand just to kind of get my bearings. Sounds good. Somebody do a pull up to your eyes and do a pull up to your eyes. I want to get a video. Oh. Yeah, I'm on my way up there. What were you guys looking at there? Oh, not that we were just talking about the sleds. Okay. And uh, just saying, like, every once in a while there's a rock, but. Oh, shit, yeah. There's some, some rocks. I think the open. sun hits it so much, right? Yeah. It doesn't get the depth. But like as soon as you start slowing down, your track will start digging and you'll feel them. But if you can keep that speed up and just yeah, glide yeah, on the top that. in that you, sweet, as soon as you, like, sweet spot. If you got your momentum and you grab a handful and it squats, that's usually when you're finding them, right? When you're yeah. pushing through that. Yeah, it's way. searching for the base. Hang on tight. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Keep starting work. Too much fucking fun, man. It has a lot of response, eh? Hey? Like right. Uh, like that little. You can't see it from here. We popped down that ledge and did a little uh, high side turn. I would have never been able to do that tight of a turn on that thing and like recover it back yeah. on the other side. Yeah, it spins a Yui really quick, yeah. eh? But then I just find right off the bottom it just gets up on top quicker or is this one you don't get that squat and then go yeah it just kind of goes forwards forward. if you lean back it'll wheelie it, it's pretty fun but this one i had to remember how to ride just the different the different uh spindles and everything you really feel the, the initiation yeah it's funny how you used to you get you gotta set it up with yeah. this one it's just like just whatever you want to do it's already there yeah it's called you go to find your balance point more with the, this yeah i gotta i find i'm leaning way over the front if you want to keep the front end down yeah this chassis moves a lot more which is easier to ride as long as you keep it keep yeah your balance, keep if, it you, right if you get the speed up too i find that it'll just it'll stay down as soon as you start slowing down it wants to yeah. come over to riot it's that it's the 325 hey like even the 275 was a pretty good track Mind if I take your sled for up there, Devin? Huh? Mind if I take for a little pull? Send it. Absolutely. Oh, sweet. That is a sick pull up here. Yeah. yeah. I'm just curious what RPM you're pulling. Uh, it's just 8400. Oh, well, that's perfect. Yeah. Okay, we're back on the old 850s, 165. 
275. I just want to compare it to the old 9R or the new 9R. I'm getting pretty used to it. <laughs> it's got the narrow stance. Bent his A-arm. I tried to do a quick side hill, yeah. and it went right on the side. I'm like, what's going on? You're, you go, you bent one of your A arms. Oh. That's an easy fix, but can, if you look at the ski tips, this one's, that one's further out. Oh, fuck you, right, man. But you're not I binding was, up your sprit. Sometimes was, it's your lower one. Those are the ones you usually do. They're meant to do that, but it's meant to do that so you don't break the walk head off. Exactly. But it affects your handling a little bit. I noticed right away. I'm like, why is this? so different it feels quite a bit different yeah well it's narrow too but yeah. so yeah. yeah you can still ride it luckily it's just a little tweak but you'll want to go get a right lower that one's good but i noticed right away the handling difference that's too bad that's a, that's a rocks man yeah you gotta that's a two for one then yeah I'll just turn it around for you. <laughs> Been there, done that. Pulling 81 though. That's perfect. It's a warmer day. Ah, that's too bad. We can uh, head down to the lake here and have some fun. difference with that track it just stays on top want it to wheelie then you can wheelie
Look at this place. There's Jer. Yeah, we totally went the wrong way, eh? Hey? That's okay. <laughs> There's a lot of little creeks and crevices up around here. Get them. They're kind of sketchy when you're going nose first in them. You don't know if that's going to be a rock Well, it's just that time of day where it's... Yeah. You see the sloughs. Key on. <laughs> That's awesome. I would just ride circles around him. I was just thinking that. <laughs>
Here, I'll come give you a hand. Buddy. I was trying to do a neutral one. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's really hard. I got two good clips there. Awesome. Thanks, bud. At the end there, when you do that wheelie coming up, I had to like in on three. It looks sick. Oh, nice. I almost never have my cell phone camera. Yeah, I know. So, and it's honestly like one of the best. But it's right. like, you take it out, you don't want your hands freezing all the time. There goes Jer. This is where guys have fires quite a bit. You can tell us because it's like the perfect sunny spot. He's pressing on his radio. When did you take a break? Bud? Look at this place. First tracks on the lake. We call this Goat Lake. In Labrador, like I said, we only had four strokes wide tracks. Oh yeah. Because there was no, it wasn't like mountain riding. It's all beating your own trail. Like nothing's touched. Like you'll never ride any train that's been ridden. Yeah. And if you have these things, you're going to be overheating and probably stuck. It's snow to do exploring, right? Yeah. It's upside down. It's going so fast. Oh, he just about did the same thing. That would have been gold. Zip it up. I've only done one A arm. What? Several trailing arms on the old sleds. You went through a lot of arms. The old, uh, remember the cylinders on the phasers? Yeah. A couple of them. Just like tipping it up against a rock. Okay. Here's what your idol's at. 
2150, 1900. 100 higher. Maybe it's throttle position, I don't know. The idle seems a little high. There we go. Should be good. It's loose, yeah. yeah. These ones run really loose too though. <laughs> I think that's about what it was when I first got on it. It was that far off, hey? Yeah. So that's all just lower arm? Yeah. Just making sure I didn't toast anything else. This is pulled back here, so it tilts this forwards. Okay, head back to the truck now. We're gonna stop, put some warmer gloves on, our other layers, balaclava. But yeah, that was a wicked day. Just seeing if you can actually hear me. Like normally the, the other muffler is so loud, I can't really, you wouldn't be able to hear me much when I'm talking. Have to put the scratchers down here. Oh, oh. Uh. You okay? Scratchers? The, the ones that I had last time busted off. We put Dev's old ones on. Yeah. Fell off. That's too hot. Oh, 198. Yeah. You can pull your side panel off. Especially this side. You can actually run it with no side panel on, this one. Yeah, and try, try to ride in the side as much as you can. You go down again. That was a lot further that time. Yeah. Oh, you just need some scratchers. Yeah, Have you seen some people where they'll like jam a stick in here? Yeah. And they'll just yeah. hold the stick? Yep. Yeah, I've seen that. I don't know. We're not very far from the truck now. No, we're just right there. And right here it's lower snow and it hardens up. Yeah. But. Yeah. Panel free since 93. Yeah. I don't know how you had that.
elk. Okay, let's head home. Well, I'd say that was a successful day. Uh, I got to ride an older 800 Access 155 to 2.6. Also got to ride my old 850 Chaos with the 165 by 275 track. And right back to my sled, my new 9R 155 325. I'm sure glad I upgraded. That old 850 was an awesome sled. Lots of bottom end power. Tons of top end power too, actually. Uh, when I had a aftermarket can on it, the thing, it was super snappy, really responsive, like really good throttle response. Pulled really hard, sounded awesome. Today it had the stock silencer on and you can tell down low, it's it's not making quite as much power and it doesn't have quite that response, but it's still wicked. Uh, the biggest difference I noticed with the 9R, so it's a 155 and it's, got the 9R so it's quite a bit more power. It really likes to get the skis off the ground right off the get-go and drive forwards and the 325 track is awesome. Like it's a huge upgrade. You can feel it clawing the snow whereas the 165 275 tends to spin a little bit initially and you can really feel that spinning. So yeah really happy I went with the 325. We did it's a 12 mile road ride up to our main riding area. I had no issues with overheating. Had the scratchers down, uh, kept it under 50 miles an hour. That's kind of the recommended speed limit for that 325. Kyle lost both his scratchers on the trail somewhere and was overheating. And he has the Series 6, I believe. It's a Series 6, a 2.6 track. And so even though there was some fresh snow on this trail, with these mountain sleds, uh, you have to run scratchers. And you gotta be getting off to the side, picking up some deeper snow once in a while. So Jer and I traded sleds. He has an 800, it's a 2018 800 HO Axis 155 with a 26. Jer said that the 9R pulled like a freight train compared to his 800. I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up with one of them next year, maybe a, a canceled snow check or a 9R that gets marked down. It's just that awesome. So after riding the 850 for a little bit, I didn't go too far. Devin had a bent A-arm, a lower right A-arm was bent and I noticed right away one ski was further ahead than the other. Um, doesn't handle quite the same. When you do a side hill it kind of flops over quicker than it normally would. But I just wanted to get a feel for that response and the power and the 9R is definitely, definitely very noticeable. Probably my favorite thing about the 9R with the 325 track, that shorter 155 as well, is if you're coming down a hill and there's like a little gully at the bottom or maybe there's a little creek that you gotta cross, you can just lean back and just hammer on the throttle and the front end comes up and you can kind of manual over those creeks and go up the other side. You don't have to be like ripping either. You don't have to be going super fast. Yeah, super impressed with that new sled. So I have 100 miles on that 9R now and so far I haven't had a single issue with it. It's been good, it's super powerful. Um, I'm really happy with it too. Hold my beer. Kyle said one more pull. There's only about a foot of snow right there. Probably less. Yeah. <laughs> Not having any fun. Why did we come out here, eh? <laughs>